Well done, Rafael Marciello. Complimenti, Rafael. Now, John, let's have a look. Uh, second was the end, like sorry. The lap of the goals. So, yes, coming out of La Source, the run down the hill. And actually, coming, I, I thought he had to make a correction on the steering as he rushes down up to about 220 plus kilometers per hour. Watch what happens here as he goes right. Oh, you can hear he's having to feather the throttle. Cuts across radio, maybe just within the limits of what's accepted. Now, he can sit back and relax momentarily as he climbs up the Carmel straight all the way up to Lake Coop. Spot where he's going to get on the brakes. Well, that's pretty late in these conditions. Then rides the curb on the entry. Feathers the throttle. Actually pulled the gear. Feathers the throttle. Rather pull a higher gear and avoid the, the torque and the wheel spin. Runs up way, way out to the edge of the track again on the exit of Melmody, then down into Brussels. Fighting the car coming in, and again, he took this long way around, but then he made the corner into a V rather than a U to try and straighten the car up, then into this funny old corner. Don't really like it, but anyway, it's a corner on the racetrack, <laughs> one of 18 corners. My least favourite corner. Here's my favourite corner, into Pouhon. Again, hanging out in the middle to the outside of the circuit, looking for that sunny, wetter part of the racetrack, hoping that's where the grip is going to be. Then a good, clean exit out of Pujol. Then all the way down to Defania. Again, probably rides the curb. No, he doesn't. He stays off the curb. So, just about maybe a couple of feet away, same as he turns left, swings through the exit of Defania, runs the curb on the exit, pretty much standard fare. Then on the brakes again, tries to get the nose of the Mercedes in. Runs a wide, I think he might have clattered into the gravel just very, very slightly. Then exit of Paul Franco, uses all the racetrack and everything else that's available to him. And sits back. I mean, just thinking of that interview. In Italian, are meant to be excitable and passionate. Raffaele, I say laconic and almost unemotional to untypical of an Italian racing driver. But, I mean, a superb racing driver. One of the class of the field and a field of class drivers here this weekend. No argument about it. Through the bus stop, right, left, and then John, loud pedal to the floor. Yeah, I mean, again, he's a tall lad. He can push that pedal way beyond where it's designed to go. And what a lap. Faster than anybody else in Super Bowl 